one of the things that we unfortunately learn how to do in childhood is to surrender our power and our energy to people who are only taking from us. And today I want to talk to you about not giving toxic people your energy. And I think in order to have this conversation, we have to do two things. One is first and foremost, we need to define kind of what a toxic person may be or look like. And two, we need to talk about the things that you can do as a strong individual to not give your power to those toxic people. Now, first and foremost, I want to be very clear. The word toxic for me often feels askew and amiss in this conversation because especially right now, people automatically want to throw everyone under the bus to be quote unquote toxic. And you know, I think that the, for me anyway, the most simplified way that I look at it is through a pattern of behaviors with consistency. You know, often, and especially in the world that we live in, people want to cancel you over one freaking mistake. And guys, we're human. You're going to screw up. You just have to face it. You have to acknowledge and know that on a long enough timeline, you're going to make a mistake. And the fact that we throw people under the bus and just go, oh, you're automatically toxic. That's dangerous to me. And so what I'm constantly thinking about is like, are there a whole lot of things that kind of get stuffed together that we can look at and in turn go, okay, wait a second. Maybe there is some kind of behavior or energy here that is demeaning and detrimental and pulling and causes suffering. Like I, I think about toxicity very simply like this, like, you know, are these red flags actually just like these giant warning signals where you have to take a step back and go, wait a second, this person's actually negatively influencing my life in such a detrimental way. And when I bring it up to them, there's no shift or change, right? That maybe can be construed as toxicity, toxicity to me, but I want us to be cautious about automatically throwing people into that label because I think that it's entirely unfair. 99.9% .9 of people are not toxic. Most people are just not in tune with their emotions and their capacities, but more importantly, it's, you know, are there behaviors that are happening daily that you have brought attention to with this person that they are ignoring or they're choosing to ignore or they're deciding to not make any kind of change around? Because if that's the case, then maybe. I think first and foremost, you have to look at like, is this person, and I'm going to go through a few different ideas here that I've had. First and foremost, is this person constantly talking badly about other people, like beyond drama, just everything that they always do or say is just completely, completely about destroying and defaming other people for who they are, their personality, and their probably, here's my thought about this always, if they're talking shit about people that you don't know, then they're absolutely talking shit about people that they do know. And chances are that you're probably getting shit talked about. And that's because people often seek negativity. We'll be right back to the show, my friend, but I wanted to let you know about our brand new podcast community for Think Unbroken Podcast. I know that for so many trauma survivors like myself, for the longest time, I felt alone, like nobody got it, nobody understood, and that I was just going to have to figure this out on my own. But that's not true. And the reason why we created our brand new Think Unbroken Academy podcast community is so that we can bring all the members of the Unbroken Nation together in a place where we can learn, grow, heal, change, and transform our trauma into triumph. I would love to have you come and be a part of the brand new community. Just check out thinkunbrokenacademy.com or click the link in the podcast description. And I cannot wait to see you there, my friend. Again, just head over to thinkunbrokenacademy.com. And until then, be unbroken. They're like, man, I'm just going to be negative all the time. Maybe subconsciously now some of that's programmed into us from childhood and how we grow up. And so if that's happening, you know, you have to look at like, is this person just always, always just mean about other people? Because if they are, it might be a red flag. Are they constantly not following through? 
if they are not following through, they say they're going to do something, they never show up, they're never there for you, they never support you, they cancel at the last second, there's always something that comes up, there's always a reason, there's always a way, that's massive inconsistency, right? And the people who don't follow through and who are massively inconsistent, they are people who very likely are putting themselves first. Now, I'm not saying, look, sometimes I don't follow through because I'm like, I need a mental health day. I can't actually show up to that event, like I said, or I need to change this plan, or I, you know, I need to not work today because I need to rest. Be very clear, right? Think this through. Just because sometimes people are inconsistent doesn't mean that they're toxic or a bad person. You don't know what's actually happening in other people's lives right? They, they could have a death in the family. They could be suffering dramatically right now. They could be sick. There's all kinds of things that could be going on. Now, often think about this one and take it with a grain of salt because we're humans and we want to connect, but you know, are they always seeking attention? Are they always a seeking attention on the internet, on social media and friends group? Like, you know, that person when you're together and they have to steal the show, no matter what, like, what is that about? Why are they doing that? What does it mean? Now, those are just some like high level things, right? I don't, I don't think again, and this is why I'm so cautious about using this word because I think that the depth of it goes a little bit deeper. And that's when we start to get into this scope where it's, filled with the lack of respect for your boundaries and the boundaries of other people. And when you share the truth and they continue to disrespect you, make you uncomfortable, make you feel unseen, unheard, unloved, now you really have to start questioning what's going on. Because if you're constantly putting yourself out there, you're addressing the issues at hand, you're having the conversations, you're pushing out the information, and you're saying, you're disrespecting me, you're overstepping my boundaries, and they keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. Well, now you need to ask yourself this question. Are they doing it intentionally or are they doing it because they don't care? And that's a really important question to ask because if people are not respecting you when it comes to your boundaries, they don't respect you. And you have to be willing to sit in that truth and you have to honor that. And, and that can be uncomfortable because this could be a partner, it could be a coworker, it could be friends, definitely is family, right? We all have family members who are like that. We might be that family member, right? And so you have to bring, bring awareness and meaning to this. But I think the, the number one thing, if I were to break down the way that I think about people being quote unquote toxic, and if I were actually going to label it, the way that I would look at it is, is this person trying to manipulate and take advantage of you? Are they trying to get something around on you? Are they always trying to finagle their way into your life or around a circumstance? And are they lying, exaggerating? And are they leaving out information that is incredibly important to try to get something out of you or from you? Because if they are, then you have to pay a lot of attention to this person because that's only going to get worse. You see this a lot in narcissistic relationships. You see this a lot in abusive relationships. You see this a lot in trauma. Like, you know, I can go back and replay so many of these experiences of my youth, especially around my mother and just watch the manipulation around my grandmother, watch the manipulation. Hey, Unbroken Nation, we'll be right back to the show. But I wanted to let you know that you can grab a copy of my first book, Think Unbroken, Understanding and Overcoming Childhood Trauma, for free. If you go to book.thinkunbroken.com, you can download the PDF ebook version of the book and get everything that I know about the baseline of healing trauma for free downloaded to your email right now. Just go to book.thinkunbroken.com to download your copy of Think Unbroken, Understanding and Overcoming Childhood Trauma for a PDF for your phone. Again, that is book.thinkunbroken.com. And then again, speaking my truth in my teens and twenties, being that person, because I thought that's how you communicated and interacted with people. And I will always be the first one to raise my hand. We talk about this a lot and I look at life through the scope of going, yeah, if it's learned experience and behavior, it can be unlearned and it can be shifted. The dynamic and the paradigm can change. You can transform. 
And if you are this person, if I just read off any of this and you're like, oh shit, I'm the toxic person. Again, I would ask you to be very cautious in using that word, especially with yourself. But more importantly, the thing that I would ask you is can things be different? Because through acknowledgement, we create change and ultimately action is the cure-all. Now, what do you do if you are in relation with these people? I think you have to just get clear on a couple of things and the way that there is the back and forth interaction with toxic people. If again, that is the word that we're going to use a lot of the, I would love to see the reframing of this shift to maybe unhealed or uneducated or unheard, unseen, unloved people. But ultimately in the context of this conversation, you know, and thinking about what toxicity means, especially if someone's manipulative, someone's pulling you back is to, to look at this and go, okay, how would I act if I were the opposite? If I were a strong person, if I were a healed person, if I were as a person who cared and loved myself, how would I interact with the world? Well, first and foremost, and I think this is number one, and this was my experience. You cannot let people hold you back. You cannot, when you are growing and you are changing your life and you are moving into being the person that you are going to be and that you are capable of being, it is incredibly important that you don't get sucked into the trap of the past. When I was 18 years old, I told my mother I would never talk to her again. When I was around 20, I told my grandmother the same. I've done this with many people in my life and it is difficult and I'm not saying that it is the thing that you need to do, but what I am saying is that you have to recognize that some people are going to hold you back and that you need to remove them out of your life for you. It's a hard decision. There's nothing easy about it. I wish that it were. I wish it was very simple to say mom, dad, grandma, brother, sister, boyfriend, husband, wife, friend, best friend. This isn't working anymore. Goodbye forever. But it's not, there's an emotional impact and a toll that has to be paid. But I can tell you right now, if I go look at the linear timeline of my life, and this is just me speaking of my truth. If I did not make those decisions, I would not be where I am today. And that's because I recognize that I don't need to have those kind of people in my life. And initially it may feel like you do need them because they give you love, compassion, admiration, joy, or at least what we perceive as such. And in reality, when you learn and you recognize you actually can give those things to yourself, you really start to take your power back, right? The other thing is like, when you look at these people, if you're paying attention, you're going to recognize that if those people stay in your life, you're not going to live up to your potential because they're always going to be pulling you down because they're going to make you feel bad about yourself. They're going to make you feel like you aren't important. They're going to make you feel like the only way that you matter is if you do things for them. Right. But I'm telling you right now, at first it's going to suck, but you pull those people out and you're going to feel so much better about your self worth, about your capacity for love and about who it is that you are. And one of the things that I think about quite frequently is when you start to pull away from these people, you'll notice that your life shifts in this powerful way in which you start to actually have a lot of productivity come about because it's really hard to move forward if you're always getting pulled back by people, if you're always feeling that stuckness, right? Because we're giving, we're literally giving our energy to the people who are using it for, I don't want to say evil, like that's a really way to phrase it, but you're giving your energy to people who are not reciprocating. They're not giving it back to you. And, and we're surrounding ourselves with positive energy when we take out the negativity. And with that positive energy, what happens is a lot of good starts to happen in our life. And because of that, we stop dwelling on the past. We stop being stuck in the past. We stop being like, oh my God, if, if only that person and this and that, we start thinking about, no, 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 where am I at today right now? And where do I want to go? And because of that, it gives us our freedom to change our mind. It gives us our freedom to create a massive shift in our energy and in our world. And I think that as long as you continue to speak up, 
to honor your truth, to put up your boundaries, to have hard conversations through, through actual adult communication, not yelling and screaming and fighting and cussing and hitting, but to sit down and talk and get to the point where you realize that you have to cut those people off, take them out of your life, set your boundaries. When you do that and you let go of those toxic people from your life, quote unquote, and you're willing to step deeper into your own power, your life, my friend, will be incredibly difficult. Never allow people to hold you back. Never allow people to keep you stuck. Never allow people to tell you you're not good enough, you're not strong enough, you're not capable enough. And I don't care if it's your own mama. Thank you so much for being here, my friends. And until next time, be unbroken. I'll see ya. We'll be right back to the show, my friend, but I wanted to let you know about our brand new podcast community for Think Unbroken Podcast. I know that for so many trauma survivors like myself, for the longest time, I felt alone, like nobody got it, nobody understood, and that I was just going to have to figure this out on my own. But that's not true. And the reason why we created our brand new Think Unbroken Academy podcast community is so that we can bring all the members of the Unbroken Nation together in a place where we can learn, grow, heal, change, and transform our trauma into triumph. I would love to have you come and be a part of the brand new community. Just check out thinkunbrokenacademy.com or click the link in the podcast description. And I cannot wait to see you there, my friend. Again, just head over to thinkunbrokenacademy.com. And until then, be unbroken. Thank you so much for listening to Think Unbroken. Please share this episode with someone who could use it and help us move forward in our mission of ending generational trauma in our lifetime. And if you would, please take five seconds to pop on iTunes or Spotify, hit that five star, leave a review, and you can also reach out to us on social at Michael Unbroken or at Think Unbroken. And of course, you can check out our YouTube channel at Think Unbroken. Thank you for being a part of Unbroken Nation, my friends, and until next time, be unbroken.